Namaskar, welcome to Adi Yoga. This video is about what you need to do, which profession, what kind of work you should do. First of all, there are two types of things which people do. A business. In business, there are different categories. You can call it entrepreneurship, like the YouTube thing, Instagram thing dropshipping, what not, everything else, everything is business. The other thing is job. This is how you are working. This is how you are earning. So, we will take these two aspects. Understand this. The planet which will give you work is most important planet for you. Now see it in this way. First we have to check Mercury. Where is your Mercury placed? Mercury's position will tell whether you are here to do a job or whether you are here to do a business. And if you are a businessman, according to astrology, if you are here to do a business and you're doing a job, you will never be satisfied. You will never get to reach those goals whichever are lingering in your head that you need to achieve or have. Mercury's position will tell if you need to do a job. Some people are doing their business and they're failing, failing, failing. And business is not always a, about success because you need to try business. This is, this is why astrology consultation is important. Yes, of course, if you need my consultation, link is in the description. Here in the YouTube video also, it's flashing somewhere. Just write me an email. Now you see, if you are here to do a job and you are doing a business, you will fail. But if you are here to do a business and you are trying business and you are failing, maybe you are not doing the right type of business. You are not approaching in the right way. Now today's video aspect is just to tell you whether you are here to do a job or whether you are here to do a business. You can check it through Mercury's position. Now see, if, if Mercury is placed in the ascendant, in the first house, first house is what? Your head, your brain. Now, your brain is always calculating stuff. Because Mercury is all about those calculations. How do I get benefit? From where do I get benefit? What about me? best thing is to do a business and if mercury is placed in the first house and you are not doing a business you are doing a mistake mistake of your life now what type of business you should you should do that is a different calculation where you need to do it which country which direction what would be the nature of business that is all different calculations that is why consultation anyways now you see it in this way if moon goes with mercury in the first house moon is emotions if moon is you can say is at higher degrees let's suppose 14 15 degrees and mercury is at 7 8 degrees or let's call it little close conjunction let's call it 10 degrees now the emotions are getting triggered by mercury the emotional need is how do i get benefit so these people will become emotionally you can say vampires they want it from you they want their emotional satisfaction from you now what to do there's only one solution only and only one solution that you worship the only one 
God. The omnipresence God. That is a different topic. If you stay on this channel, you will see that we talk about this also. If this is your first day on this channel, if you really want to go into this search, not even the search, if you really want to see God and meet God, become one with God and so-called enlightened, which is, is the very first stage, you know, enlightenment is not the last stage. <coughs> then stick here, you can just write me an email. Then, worshipping or becoming one with God is the only solution. For now, whatever is your faith, whatever is your religion or whatever deity you believe in, just stay surrendered to them for now until you don't start this full-on journey with me. You can do it. Surrender with devotion, okay? Now when Mercury goes higher degrees, Moon goes lower degrees in the first house. Now let's place Mercury as 14, 15 degrees, put Moon in 10 degrees. Now Moon is influencing Mercury. Now this person is doing business, but this person is emotional about the business. So we have to stay away from doing any project, any business which is emotionally connected with you. Do not get into that. You will, you will get into trouble, financial trouble. Mercury goes in the seventh house. Seventh house is the house of partnership. Is the house of opposite sex. So you are doing partnership with your with your spouse, you're doing partnership with your business, you know, partners, you're doing partnerships in many different ways in the world. And this is where if Mercury is, Mercury is looking for what do I get? What do I get from this relationship? What do I get this from well, uh, what do I get from this partnership? Business. Mercury goes in the 10th house. 10th house is the natural house for your profession. Mercury is looking out there, sitting in the professional house and seeing how do I get benefited. There could be other positions too, depending upon which houses Mercury is ruling, depending upon how Mercury is placed. But this is 100% that you need to act like this. You are not made for a job. There are some other conditions where job is a must. You cannot do a business. If Mercury goes in the sixth house, you can get into a job depending on other conditions too. You can get into a job of banking, of calculating money, Managing money, managing assets. If you get into a business, this will be a service industry. This is very from the top of the chart I'm saying. I'm, I'm not even dissecting deeper because I cannot dissect that deep in this video. It takes an hour to tell you that, okay, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do. For that, I need a sample chart. Yeah, if you want my consultation, please feel free. You should know what you need to do. How your money comes in your house, how you earn money, that is more important. Then the second point is whether that money does good to you or not, whether that money stays with you or not, whether you grow that money or not. That is the second issue. Then we have to see the 11th house. So first, just see where your Mercury is placed. Okay. I hope this video is good enough for now to give you a thought. Whether you are here to do a job or a business. Do that. So that you can get success. So that you can have abundance in your house. Without money, there is no God. Trust me. You will not look for God. 
if you're struggling with money you will look for money you will look you you would look for food okay what a naked man needs clothes what a hungry man needs food so first we need to satisfy it so that you can have god but these things can go simultaneously also the, and this is what we are teaching you can make your money also at the same time you can progress towards god and it's not a long journey okay just stick stay here if you want to subscribe you can subscribe the channel you want to write an email just feel free i'll see you in the next one.